As the U.S. and NATO press ahead with plans to leave Afghanistan by the end of this month, the Taliban's territorial blitz continues. The extremist group now controls about two-thirds of... Hello, today I present to you an extremely attractive application for music lovers. It's completely free. You can listen to music online or download unlimited music to use whenever you don't have internet. The powerful search function helps you find anything you want. Trust me. It's hard not to find what you're looking for because the search function is really powerful. Application download link is attached in the description of the video. I'm pretty sure you'll like it. Thanks. The country. U.S. intelligence now fears that, in a worst-case scenario, the government could fall in a matter of months. CBS's David Martin reports from the Pentagon. Ranks of surrendering Afghan soldiers and rows of U.S. military equipment captured by the Taliban tell the story of what is fast becoming a humanitarian disaster for the Afghan people and a humiliating end to America's longest war. Since last Friday, the capitals of nine provinces have fallen. You can't look at that map and assume the Taliban is going for anything less than total victory, one U.S. military officer said. But Pentagon spokesman John Kirby insisted all is not lost yet. No potential outcome has to be inevitable, including the, the, the fall of Kabul. With the Taliban capturing more and more equipment, the latest military assessment is that Kabul could come under attack in as little as 30 days. And the Afghan government could fall within 90. Refugees are flooding into Kabul, and Taliban agents are almost certainly among them. The U.S. increased the number of airstrikes to eight in the last 24 hours, but Afghan units are collapsing so rapidly, there's not time to call in strikes that stop the Taliban advance. That only happens when the Afghan army stands its ground. There are places and there are times, uh, including today, uh, where Afghan forces in the field are putting up a fight. The Biden administration is now considering whether to begin evacuating the U.S. Embassy. The Pentagon has been urging the State Department to start bringing out its diplomats before it becomes necessary to rescue them. Major? Before it's too late. David Martin at the Pentagon. Thanks so much.